Здравствуйте, друзья! Меня зовут Максим, вы смотрите канал The Quiz. Сегодня поговорим про приобретение недвижимости в США. Мало кто знает, что в процедурной части, когда вы купили дом, необходимо уделить достойное э, внимание проведению инспекции э, вашей недвижимости. Как правило, приходит специальный инспектор, который нанимает, э, оговариваются условия, кто будет платить за инспектора, вот, как правило, инспектор оплачивает непосредственно покупатель. Вот, но бывают исключения. И, соответственно, до момента, пока не подпишут все документы на приобретенный дом или недвижимость, необходимо провести полную инспекцию. Составляется особый репорт. Находятся все косяки, все проблемы дома. Инспектор сразу же может вычислить приблизительную стоимость ликвидации тех или иных проблем. Вот. Засовывает свой нос во все дыры, находит все-все-все, что может быть в этом доме быть неправильного. Например, проблема с фундаментом, например, проеденные какие-то перекрытия термитами, покрытие крыши, тоже ненадлежащие и так далее и тому подобное, протечки, то есть все-все-все. Как правило, такой человек сертифицирован и, соответственно, составляет официальный лист того, что необходимо доделать. Для чего это надо? Для того, чтобы э, не попасть с домом, э, у которого серьезные проблемы, например, требуется серьезное восстановление фундамента или какие-то серьезные доделки, связанные с восстановлением газа, трубопровода, еще что-то, чтобы э, вы не купили дом к на который спустя какое-то время будет наклеена надпись Danger и целый список тех доделок, которые вам потом придется за свой счет устранять. Вот. Ну и, соответственно, я сейчас вам покажу, как проходит вот такая инспекция. И уже, когда составляется такой лист, с этим листом покупатель или его представитель, риэлтор, там, или не знаю, кто один, кто угодно, уже обращается к продавцу и согласуется финальная цена сделки, как правило, если лист большой, то, соответственно, давят на продавца с тем, чтобы необходимо цену сбавить, для того, чтобы все вот эти недоделки устранить. Находится какой-то компромисс. Вот. Сейчас вы увидите, как все это происходит. Начинаем инспекционный осмотр дома. Я. Окей, so... When I do the report, I'm going to show you where I start and how I do things. Mm -hmm. And I break things down in different categories. Mm -hmm. Marginal, defective, or safety issues. Okay. Okay. So let me get my... Он сказал, что он разделит на три категории. Те, которые значит, серьезные, какие-то дефекты, те, которые средней тяжести, совсем не серьезные. Да, ну это я уже понял, да. Mm -hmm. Для Александра чисто. Okay, so when I check in the report, I'm looking at the driveway to make sure that there's not a bunch of bad settlement mm -hmm. or big cracks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right here, here's an area. You mean big cracks like this? That's not real no, bad, but anything like here. that should be sealed mm -hmm. okay. with okay. a sealant. Okay. Yeah. But here, this one's kind of bad. This one probably should have a sealant in it. Okay. And he's tried to seal some stuff here. You can see where oh, he's put oh, Volcom. I see, I see. You can use Volcom, Volcom or seal. Can you use Volcom on those? You bet. Yeah. Oh, okay. If you don't seal that, then water can get down in there. Right, right. Yeah. Get underneath yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Then I check to make sure that you have railings on the stairs, which you do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. When I ran the sprinkler system, he had a bad sprinkler head right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he ran and replaced it while I was here. Oh, so, he, 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 he like ran and bought a new Yeah, sprinkler. he dug it up, Oh yeah. put a new one on there, and then I ran that station again. There's five stations Pretty heavy. in the yard, yeah. and that came up, and it's fine now. Wow. Okay? So it's easy to repair yourself. Yeah, they I just kind of pop off of there with a you wow. know hose clamp or something. I never had a sprinkler system. So where do you buy those sprinkler systems? Like it's a Are they, okay. all, are they all universal or are they different? Um, you could put different heads on there. Some of them, you know, they spray out. Some of them rotate, you know. Oh, okay. Some of them are a But the connection is universal. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. So it doesn't matter what you buy, essentially. No, no. Okay. 
problem in the stations or a tube which uh, inside it's underground what's what's wrong there's nothing nothing wrong underground right no no okay. i ran all five stations and everything looked fine okay good and then when i'm looking at things i'm looking at the leaders to make sure they're coming off the foundation mm -hmm. they say at least four feet six feet is mm -hmm. better mm -hmm. oh okay the, okay okay so, i'm looking to see if you got any rot uh-huh you know everything looks good and tight cool. okay no big cracks in the foundation mm -hmm. wall mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. a small that one cool. I saw that. yeah it's not bad enough they say anything over three eighths is when you have to worry oh, okay. so that one's not even so cool. how do you, I, i'm kind of concerned that it goes through the through the, through the block mm -hmm. yeah if it goes through the block then there's been more pressure there mm -hmm. but i don't think it's anything you need to worry about if you have a concern you can seal it with some right or and something. See, and see how if it's moving or not Right. And then what is that thresher basement with, with a break, break it on it? If not, or you have to fix the, the underlying? Problem. They inject it if that's what you're asking, Luba. Uh -huh. They'll come in and put something in there and inject inside the brick and it'll oh. grow in there and it'll seal it. Oh, okay. okay. But it doesn't fix the underlying movement? No, but I didn't see anything on the okay. back side of the garage or the wall, no water, no, sure. no intrusion. Okay. Okay. I don't think it's a big deal. Cool, okay. The vent here is a little dirty. Uh -huh. You might want to have that cleaned out. Oh, yeah. I got a picture of that window. Okay, cool, okay. Okay. Cool. Um, <laughs> AC unit is 2006, mm -hmm. so it's 10 years old. Right, okay. What, what is it? You know, it ran fine. Okay. I fired it up, it ran fine. Now, this is your sump pump where it comes out here. Okay. But they've got a piece of leader or gutter okay. on it. That's not correct installation. Really. Oh, okay. That should be and hard I... plumbed with plastic. Oh, okay. Just like that pipe, it should be. All right, I see what you're saying. Glued. So, and it's your, in, in your report. I'll put it in the report. Okay, good. Okay. And I'd run it as far away from the foundation. You mean about this plastic okay. tube, yeah? Yeah. Actually, okay. And that's what it should be down there on the leader. Okay. That's mm -hmm. called the leader. Mm -hmm. Why, why do they have some pump? Do they have uh, water issues here? Like if the water table's high, uh -huh. or if the drain tile is failing, or they didn't put it in, mm -hmm. sometimes you can get water that comes into the basement through mm -hmm. the foundation. Mm -hmm. And then if you have a sump pump hit, it goes there first instead of mm -hmm. flooding the basement. Can you tell if it was installed during construction or it's later? I think it's I think it's an aftermarket. Aftermarket, yeah. okay. Yeah. So there, there was a water in the basement. I, I don't know that. I just know that it is an okay. aftermarket okay. Uh, installation. Okay. Uh, so again, I'm looking at the chimney. I look at the roof line. Mm -hmm. The roof is newer. It's probably around five years old. Okay. And I think it's in really good shape. Okay. 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 Cool. Mm -hmm. It's reflash like it's supposed to. When they re-roof some mm -hmm. roofs, they don't reflash around the oh, no, the, the vents and stuff. Inside. Yeah, okay. this one's done. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they don't seem like people to cut corners on the maintenance. No. So, you I, know, they're always something that's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay. Sometimes you can see them, sometimes you can't. If you have the ground, that's the foot. You can see the better as a foot. You want to have that because the way the ground freezes in this area, as that ground freezes, the deck is right. going to move unless it has a foot. Okay. How, how deep should be? What's the point? Uh, two to three feet. 24 to 36 inches. Okay. Another okay. thing I look at is uh-huh uh -huh. sometimes they don't have that oh, yeah, sometimes okay. they nail this ledger board okay this just, one's got a lag screw see the screw here oh okay to the house yeah that's, yep, the, that's right the way point. it should be okay all right so it's actually screwed to the to the big piece of wood that yeah. the, the house sits there okay the sill they call it the sill so, okay. so this leader right here Luba, okay. this should be coming out this way Oh, okay. So that's a defective leader. It doesn't do any good to have a long leader on there and have all that water pumping mm -hmm. down along the foundation. Do they um, uh, do they sell the conversion that like from from that orientation to, yep. to another? Yep. So it's just a matter of just buying a piece that. Yeah, you buy another ninety. This is a ninety, and okay. you turn it, uh -huh. and then you run your leader out to okay. here. That way, all that water's coming out. The way. Yeah, they they probably don't want it to interfere with the mowing and stuff. But right, that's why it. they did it. But that's not the way it's supposed right. to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, especially with the uh, 
um, with the rains like that. It doesn't seem like uh, it has a lot of moisture here. Well, it, yeah. I mean, we've had quite a bit of rain the last couple weeks. Right, right. And if you don't, you know, if you don't see any water in the basement now, you're probably pretty good. Okay. So here's your, here's your different valves for your sprinklers. And there's five stations in here. So if okay. I pull this lid up, there'll okay. be five different valves in there. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Cool, cool, cool. And this is where you can have it winterized. Okay. Oh, it's dripping. Yeah, that one's dripping. Is it supposed to? Or is no. It, or is it in your report? No, I'll put it in the report that okay. it's leaking. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Siding. I didn't see any rod. I always try to see if it's soft. You know, everything is nice and hard. It doesn't look like it had any water in it. Okay. okay. <laughs> and with a dripping sprinkler, is it like a plumber or a sprinkler specialist? Either. Either, okay. Yeah. And just tightening the just need to tighten that thread or put some lock on it. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so in the garage, I'm looking at different things, the ceiling, I can tell that there was a leak here. And I talked to the homeowner, he told me that was because when they put the new washer and dryer in, they didn't put the hose right in the, the downspout, uh -huh. and it leaked. Okay. So, so what, do you, what do you think of the location of washer and dryer? Is it, is it the, like prone to leaks? That way. Well, I can tell you this, it, it's probably the only thing that I think is wrong with it being where it is, is there's no mm -hmm. floor drain. And that's why if it leaks, if something happens, the water goes right into the floor. Oh, wow. You know, there's no floor I drain. Think, I think they mentioned that they will be moving it downstairs. Okay. They don't want it downstairs. Yeah, and there's a floor drain downstairs. So. Okay. But I put, I've got a tester and I tested it and there's no moisture There's no moisture, okay. okay. Cool, okay. Cool. All right. Another thing I look at is I want to make sure that the openers are hardwired. Uh -huh. Sometimes they run them off an extension cord. They're oh, not okay. supposed to be like that. Oh, they need to be yeah. hardwired, which they are. Okay. And then I always run the doors to see if they're, mm -hmm. the tension is right in. I watch them when they roll up, make sure that nothing is jerking. Okay. okay. All right. And the other thing I check I want to make sure that this auto reverse, the safety auto reverse, is working. So I kick it, uh -huh. it send it back up. Okay. Sure. So that's working like it's supposed to. Everything else looked okay in here. I checked the electrical, ceiling, the walls. I got a little repair in a few spots. I don't know why. They just painted, but right. there's no moisture today. Oh, cool. Okay. okay. Good. Okay. All right. Should we go in? Yeah. I should have brought my flashlight in. Let me run and get my flashlight. Okay. okay. Is it was for sale by owner? That's kind of cool. See the hinge? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Oh. It's loose. Wow, that's probably a couple screws, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, that's but I wanted you to know about it. And then here's your sump pump pit. Oh, okay. And your pump, and it pumps up and out where we showed you on the back of the house. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I checked all the electrical in here. Here's your main water shut off in here. Uh -huh. So if you ever have a leak in the house right. and you shut can't shut off. something shut off, off. Mm -hmm. you want to shut the water off here. Okay. okay, that's good. Okay. That's the main, right okay. up there. And then there's, that's for your sprinkler. Oh, yellow is for sprinkler. Okay. And uh, there's another shut off. Yeah, that's important for Alex. <laughs> okay. All right, there's a shut off right there too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you have a leak and you can't shut it off in a sink or something, that's where you want to turn the water off. Okay. Mm -hmm. Electrical box is over here, 150 amp main. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I took it apart. There's no, you know, no I looked for aluminum wiring. Mm -hmm. Didn't see it. I looked for double taps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everything was copper, single tap. What is a double tap? What is it? Sometimes I'll run a double wire off one breaker. Oh. 
And when they do that, uh -huh. when it heats up and shrinks, then it can create space uh -huh. and then it can arc. Oh, I see. Okay, so that happens when you have two wires and one breaker. So that any any um, any electrician that would it's not too cold to have two, right? It's, against it's not cold. right. Okay. So what they would do is they would come in uh -huh. and pigtail it back uh -huh. into one. So they, the two would start back here, oh, okay. and one would go into. How the often do you see those? Not very often. Okay. Maybe one out every. I don't know, 30 inspections oh, or something. Okay. Especially yeah. in older homes. In older homes, yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's the bathroom. Three-quarter bath down here. I ran the sink, checked for leaks, nothing. Toilet's tight. Mm -hmm. No leaking in the tank. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's going on in here is you got your hot and cold reversed here. Oh, huh. Okay, so when you turn it on, that should be cold. That should be hot. I think that'll get used to it, I guess. Okay. Alright. No leaks on the shower head. Everything looked good. Beautiful. Fan works. You got a heater in here. Okay. Alright. Fan and heat. Okay. Everything's working there. Okay. How difficult it would be for them to relocate the washer and dryer into here. I mean, um, given that they move, maybe sink here, whatever. You'd have to destroy the floor probably. The um, depends on how the plumbing runs. They may be able to do it in the wall. I don't know. I don't think they'd have to to tear up the floor. They should be able to put it in the wall, repipe it. Hmm. Have to run some water lines down here. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's will be their problem. <laughs> <laughs> I told them about it. But when I'm down here, Luba, I'm looking for water staining. I look below the window. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I look in all the, right in the corners. Mm -hmm. I didn't see anything. Cool. Okay, nothing in the carpet. Cool. Okay. Cool. All right, shall we go up? Okay. Upstairs? Yes, please. Railings are here like they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. All right. I check the door to make sure that it closes right and it's plumb. Sometimes they don't hang right and then they don't close right. This one's good. Okay. <laughs> you got a smoke detector down and one up. That's the way it's supposed to be. You have to have at least one on each level. Okay. 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 And they both work. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. How did you check them? I pushed them. I can push them again if you want. Not like smoking in my presence. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can provide in test for smoke detector if you want. <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, kitchen, all the appliances work. One of the things I check though is an anti tip uh -huh. that shouldn't be able to lift, that should uh -huh. be fastened in the back. Uh -huh. That's a safety concern. I don't know if you've ever dealt with that, but. They say that because if you had mm -hmm. a pot of boiling water oh. and you opened it up to pull out your turkey. Oh, it shouldn't be and your kids, tilting. You know, oh. if someone put their knee on it. Oh. So it, it oh so it's supposed to be attached to the wall? To the floor and the wall, there's a bracket that goes Oh yeah, that's right. I always wondered what <laughs> what do they give the brackets with the appliance? Yeah. So oh. I'll write that up as a safety issue. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Another thing I do is I make sure you got ground fault. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the kitchen, mm -hmm. so I surge every outlet, mm -hmm. and then the power's off. When I reset it, mm -hmm. power comes back on. Okay. All of them work. Okay. The bathrooms all work with ground fault, and all okay. feed to the master bathroom. Okay. So if it ever kicks an outlet, reset yeah. buttons in the master. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we, did, we did good with this house. I mean, you know, it was when the owner's present, and you try to. Choose the house. It's kind of like you don't look everywhere. But but the more I look in the house, they he took he took care of it. Yeah. And he was fixing things, things while I was here because he was watching me and you know he had a broken globe in the in the master bedroom uh -huh. to fix that. Oh okay, cool. Okay. So all the lights work, all the electrical works, all the fans work. Again, this door is hung correctly. I check it as well. <laughs> You know, make sure that it doesn't have a big gap here. Mm -hmm. It closes right. This is called a screen away storm door. That works right. Oh wow. That's really 
Okay. That's really neat. That's called a screen away. Pretty nice. That's really neat. With the fireplaces, I don't do much with those. Mm -hmm. with a, I know that it's a wood burner converted to a gas log. Uh -huh. And you can see the pilot burning oh, okay. down there. Okay. Oh, okay. So that is probably a key for that gas. Oh, I don't know where it is, and they'll turn that. Okay, and we, should, uh, we should remember. But it's a standard key, you can just yep. buy it. It's, it's just uh, yep. Yep. universal. Mm -hmm. if we get it closing. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty. Okay, in the bathroom here. Yeah. <laughs> so the toilet, I checked these. This one's loose. Oh, See okay. that? All right, okay. So that should be tightened. Okay. And then the water here, when I run it, this is called the diverter. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This one's pretty tight to operate. Mm -hmm. So I got when I get it up, it's okay, but when I go to shut it, it's pretty hard to push down. Okay, okay. so I gotta I gotta hit it like that and operate it. Okay. Why, why, why is that? Is it is it supposed to be fixed or is it like water pressure? What's it's it probably be? older oh. and it may have some buildup in there, maybe some rust, mm -hmm. so oh. it's a little harder to operate. So, and so they probably have a closet on the other side, right? But those spouts can be replaced, they're like $19. Right. Yeah, I know, yeah. Okay. But you don't have to go from the other side to replace it. You no, can. you can do it right there. Okay. That should screw right off. Okay. The other, only other thing in here that isn't working is the stopper. Okay, so that's not functioning. Again, it's not a big deal. They hooked up right. underneath. Okay. You got newer windows. Uh huh. Uh, your furnace is only three years old. Uh huh. Uh -huh. The hot water heater, uh -huh. Luba, is 1998. So that is. Yeah, we know that. It's getting older. Right. But it's a state select, and those are really good brand. Oh, okay. I see those all the time, 30 plus years old. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So, okay. yeah, I, I actually asked them about when there was a property uh, disclosure. Uh, what? Other than that, that's everything. Uh, that's it. There's nothing going on with any of the windows. So, there is no, uh, there, is, uh, there is a master. Uh, Master bed, bedroom, right? Yep. Is it like a full or just a half? No, it's a. Uh, it's a half. Three quarter. So, oh, three quarter. Oh, okay. Yeah. This still has a shower. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And your ground fault works in here. Toilet is fine. You know, I check the closet door. Sometimes they're broke on the bottom. Mm -hmm. You know, they right. swing. Okay. But this one, they're all good. Cool. Okay. Cool. Beautiful. Good. I didn't see any other problems. Yeah. So we've got that anti-tip for the stove, You're right. mm -hmm. that leader, mm -hmm. okay, and then the marginal things that I showed you, like the toilet. Leader, the, the leader on the downspout over here that runs along the house. Oh, oh the, sump, the sump pump. Oh, and, and, the, and sump the sump pump. pump. And, and the, that one, okay. Okay. Cool. That's it. Everything else looked good. Beautiful. Okay. okay. So, um. Here's your attic access. Uh-huh. I went up there. He had all these shelves out. Uh-huh. But I was up in the attic, and I checked to make sure that it's frame supported correctly. You got okay. plenty of insulation, uh -huh. which it does, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and that your bathrooms vent uh, properly. The outside. They okay. go out to the socket. Okay, cool. Okay. okay. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any yeah. questions? Uh, no, not from me. Any questions? Absolutely no. Okay. Yeah, it's very simple and illustrative. Okay. So, so you will send the the report to me yeah. and to Max, like copy as both. Yeah, I'll I'll go back to the office and then I'll upload the pictures and I'll pull them into the report. Okay. Okay. And then I'll put everything on there that we talked Great. about. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Write okay. a check. <laughs> Four fifty, <laughs> right? Four fifty. Please. Four fifty. Yeah. Okay. Inspection закончили. Uh, Сейчас подготовят э, лист вот этих всех э, найденных э, косяков и, соответственно, сейчас выписываем чек э, инспектору за проведение инспекции и, соответственно, составление репорта. Вот.